Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to bring you a video that I've been meaning to make for a while and a viewer recently reminded me that we had discussed this. I'm going to make that video comparing pumping and nursing bras. I'm really excited to tell you guys about the class that I'm making that's coming along really great too. It's gonna be out in the next couple of weeks so if you wanna get on the waiting list, I'll include the link down below. It's a crash course for busy parents where we talk about what you want your journey to look like, whether that's exclusive lactation, exclusive pumping, mixed journey. We'll talk you through the basics of the first one to three days, what to expect, building a healthy milk supply, protecting your nipples, um, all the equipment that exists for lactation and if you need to buy any or all of it and when to ask for help. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will leave the link down below and I'll send you all the info. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse, a board certified lactation consultant, and I'm also a new mom to a baby girl. So if you hear her cooing in the background, that's why. The first bra that we're gonna talk about today is a regular nursing bra. So with a nursing bra, you just have the clips on both sides and you unclip the side that you're nursing on, pull it down, nurse, and then you can clip it right back up when you're done. I find that um, this is great to wear under like a little cami or a loose flowing shirt and then you just either pull your shirt up or down to unhook and feed your baby. It's also nice because these tend to have a thicker band in the back for extra support. So this has three hooks, for example. And I actually have this one on right now in a different color. So you can see you just can unclip this, pull it down for nursing and easy access. The next bra we're gonna talk about is a classic pumping bra. This bra is not like a supportive bra. It's one that you would just probably put on and take off after pumping. So you're not going to be wearing it all day. You're going to probably be just putting this on if you're pumping at work or out in public. So it is a little less convenient in that sense. Um, you put it on by, it zips in the front and then it has this adjustable Velcro strap in the back so it fits a lot of different sizes and it can accommodate you and your body. This one is a extra small to large so you can see that it fits a wide range of sizes. It also has hooks on it for putting straps on this but like I said I wouldn't wear this as a regular bra. It's not very supportive and it's pretty thick. So you put it on by unzipping it put it around you, and then you zip it up in the front. It's not always the easiest to get on. So this is how it goes. It's not the easiest to get on. Um, I struggled a little bit to get that on. So when you're pumping, you would take your flange and you can put the flanges through these little holes and then hook your pump to it. Or if you have a pump that the flanges don't come off of, you can also squeeze it on and off through this hole in the front. Then you unzip it, pull down your regular bra and go back to your day, especially if you were using this to pump at work. The third bra that we're going to talk about is actually a hybrid between these two bras that we just looked at. and. This is actually my go-to for all my lactation and pumping needs because you don't have to worry about which one you're gonna do because it has both options. So it has the clips, but instead of just one set of clips, it actually has two. So you unclip this for pumping and there's a hole here where you can stick your flange in and it holds your bra on for you. Um, and then if you're nursing, instead of pumping, this bra, you unhook the second clip and you pull it down for nursing. So it's really awesome. Or if you're a person who is doing some parallel pumping, which means you're nursing on one side and pumping or collecting milk on the other, you can always pull this side down for nursing while you use the other side 
for pumping. So this one is by Kindred Bravely. Um, they're the only company I'm aware of that has a hybrid bra, but I'm sure there are other ones out there. I just really like this one. It's nice, good quality, nice and thick. And this one is actually a racer back. They do have other ones that are uh, your classic strap, two strap bra, but this is a racer back because it's more like their sports bra version. So this one comes in many sizes and different styles um, and I'll leave a link for that down below as well. And last but not least, you have the option of a nursing cami. So with a cami, you have the same functions of a nursing bra where you have the clips that come down and let you nurse your baby, but you also have the additional support of having a cami. And this one has a little bit of gentle compression to it to help kind of tuck everything in after delivery. Um, it's also a super comfortable cami for wearing during pregnancy for a little extra support. So serves a double function in that way. You can wear it during pregnancy and postpartum. So I do use all of these bras for different purposes during my lactation journey so far, but you certainly don't need all of them. If I were to pick one and you're doing pumping and nursing, I would probably go with uh, some sort of hybrid like the Kindred Bravely, but you're probably going to want more than one bra because you're probably going to be at this for several months, if not more. Um, at least we hope if that's your goal. And it's always good to have a couple of bras on hand for when you have one in the wash. And finally, I'm going to show you how to convert a nursing bra into a pumping bra if you're ever in a pinch or if you just realized you needed a pumping bra and that they're different and you need something to be hands-free. So let me set that up and I'll be right back to show you how that works. Okay, so I hope you can see this. I have on... Oh, oh my, my daughter's eating her teddy bear. It sounds like it's very, very delicious. His name is Strawberry. <laughs> All right, so I do have on that nursing bra so I can teach you the trick for turning this into a pumping bra. Let me grab my flange as well. So if you are in a pinch and you need to pump and be hands-free, but all you have on hand or all you have at your home so far is a nursing bra, this is a fun trick. So you unhook the clip, bring it down, and then you're gonna scoot this strap over to the middle. And then you're going, and you might wanna loosen the strap up here a little bit to give it a little bit more room. You're gonna take your flange, you're gonna put it over your nipple, we are going to bring this strap to the middle to hold it on. And then this clip, you're gonna bring it around and come up and over and clip this on. And there, it should just stay on and stay in place. And you can go ahead and pump hands-free. So that's my breakdown of the most common pumping and nursing bras on the market and a little comparison of the difference between them. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and you won't miss a thing. <laughs> she says bye too, goodbye, and I will see you all in the next video.